and allow me to share uh, my screen on the use of Padlet. What you see on the other end, kindly allow me to tell me what you can be able to see. Members, are you able to see? What I've shared on the screen. Eh? Yeah, thanks for joining all of you. Yes. I can see Letesia, I can see Luvai, uh, Yes, Benta, and Adelaide. So today we are going to learn how to use Padlet in class. And uh, we need to learn what Padlet is. So allow me also to admit new uh, people into the meeting. Yeah, kindly allow me. This one happens. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, Mr. Nixon, to the meeting. Uh, she's joining in. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for joining once more. Allow me to reshare the, the screen once more. We were talking about Padlet, just a tool like any other in using and teaching in class. We can use Padlet account uh, by students and teachers alike for sending posts, images, videos, documents, mention them. It's a very powerful tool because they have the ability for people to collaborate. So a student and a teacher and another student can post and work together. It helps students to understand that their work is meant to be seen and that it truly matters. This is very important because I'm mentioning only that uh, what you can do, it can be seen and also other children and other students can also, even teachers collaborate and that matters. So therefore we can agree that it not many people to engage during the moment. And we can now go to how we can use Padlet a step at a time. It's important to sign up because this Padlet is free online. The first step is to sign up. That means you had not got into the system. That is where you are signing up. Once you are going to do it for the second time, you can sign in. Members, are you able to see the screen, my screen? No. So that means uh, I need to begin again and uh, share again. Don't worry, as time goes by, technology sometimes can. Sometimes technology can be like that. Uh -huh. And now I'm sure it will be shared. Eh? Yeah, from your end, kind of remind me, you should see my screen. Eh? Yeah, you are there. Thank you so much for responding. There is the chat section. You can also comment one, two, three things on the chat section. That means uh, uh, the lower part, yeah, uh, the lower part or the upper part of your computer, depending on what you are using, you can be allowed to chat. Uh, uh, you can raise your hand if you have a point. Uh, let's continue. Thanks once more for joining. So now uh, we can look at the following. Um, how to use Padlet in class. Remember we said it's a very powerful tool because one can collaborate with another. So teachers and students can work uh, using that platform. So you can post links, images, videos, and document files for the purpose of learning. Padlet helps students to understand 
uh, that allow me to move this yes to understand their work that is meant and remember once uh, students are working you can be able to see what they are doing they are able to collaborate so students engage one another by having ads you remember the ads what you normally do in other uh, platforms yeah the first step is to sign up on the internet so remember it's a free tool and they can be used to teach the first step is signing up what you do get to browser and uh, write the word padlet it will bring uh, all the details but the first step is sign up with padlet once you write the word padlet you will be shown padlet home page the next step you sign up for free or you can also decide to install the app on your computer or your phone but the first uh, after that you select sign up for free therefore what you're going to see instantly padlet will allow you to sign by apple if you're using apple or google and microsoft so that means you use a separate uh, email and password for you to sign up that is you are doing it for the first time it will bring you an option select and i will ask you to go for basic uh, avoid pro but if it's pro it means you deal more with by purchasing more on the same at the end of the month you are allowed to pay a particular percentage and therefore you get particular mbs per upload as well as 250 mil mbs per upload so that comes um, at a price uh, per month and it has professional information and i know you like it as compared to basic so in padlet you can also uh, the, the second thing to do is to make a Padlet. So you are allowed to make a Padlet, a Padlet because you are given a button on your dashboard. So you will go to choose a particular board to start with. So it means you arrange the content you want and it has each option with every description and content you want. Uh, and continue uh, to communicate with your students in a chat-like environment and add content to points on a map. Remember, a map in this case uh, can be different. Yeah, depends on either it's straight, diagonal, others are um, in a straight line. So it depends on what uh, you want. So what next is to make a Padlet and you customize it. What does it mean to customize it? Means to choose a layout that will suit you by adding a title and a description, what you want to on your board. So you can choose a wallpaper, like mine here, my wallpaper is black. So each person likes a particular uh, wallpaper and the color scheme. So that means you upload your own wallpaper, choose a particular library. In the library, there are so many things here, you can choose uh, pictures, colors, solids, either gradient texture to suit the type of information you want. So at the same time, once you do that, it will give you a unique link, which can be easily shared by copying. Just copy it on your clipboard, the way you normally do with the WhatsApp, then you can send to particular people, uh, which means now uh, through email, chat, okay, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, and so many others. As you continue by customizing, we said you are making it the way you want. It will ask you to scroll down because it's larger downwards on the same page. Um, it will give you the option of customizing posting options. The posting options allow you to control whether you have the, your author's name, which should be displayed on each post. Why? to avoid anybody who's going to plagiarism your, your work so that you own that particular work. So you can comment on those posts, whether you like to implement reactions. And then uh, there is uh, the other last part is content filtering, allowing you to choose whether or not content requires your approval. In case 
some people online can be very mean. They can make you feel unhappy. Therefore, uh, you can uh, stop them from commenting or not commenting. So in case you feel that a particular emoji is nice, you can use those emojis nice and say happy like that. So here now we are through with the Padlet. We, what you need now is to post. Now that you have uh, customized everything, your first Padlet is ready and you can share with others. Now post it, um, your Padlet is ready, just post it by dragging the file onto your Padlet board. Double click anywhere on that screen and pressing the red plus button at the bottom of your, your Padlet. Therefore, it means now you are ready to start your work. It has been posted. Yeah, I will allow our members to so you look at now, uh, like uh, what uh, has happened here. One member has just done the scribble. That means in future, I'll be able to monitor on the same so that nobody does what does scribble on <laughs> this. So it's, it's normally. It normally happens. Eh? It normally happens. So that means next time in future, I'll be able to stop anybody from interfering with the settings. So it happens, uh, members, teachers, it normally happens. So from here, you can upload your file, enter the URL. URL is what contains the World Wide Web, and therefore the images, the GIFs, YouTube, send it everywhere so long as the content belongs to you do not use somebody's information so drop your location if necessary for you to be known uh, where you are kindly stop uh leticia post bleeds leticia um so there are many ways you can use this word you can use it in classroom outside the class for particular reasons so it's a great way of introducing uh, a discussion, and this is uh, what the learners like, because in the process of themselves doing it, they can look at one another, they can share and make one to understand this topic was not good, so they are able to uh, correct themselves. So, and with that, it uh, brings us to the end of our session, but I will encourage you to ask questions if you didn't get some you can unmute yourself and ask or you can make a comment oh that means uh, members are satisfied Hello, Mr. Motari. Hello, Leticia. I just made a comment. Thank you for joining us. Jump, jump no, up. I've question. been yes. there. I've, yeah. I've been there. <laughs> I've been there, but uh, I was just trying to, to, whatever you were talking about, I wanted to see if it was really working. That means at least I was learning. So are we able to use it in, in our school? Yes, it is, and uh, for sure, during the holiday, Padlet will uh, give you a chance for the learners to, uh, so long as there's somebody who's uh, elderly or aged to enable the learners perform the work. So you can just leave this work, uh, they collaborate, especially if you like group work, it's one of the best tools you can ever use in school. Just give one question. Let the learners work out that question. Once a person or group A can do their work, so long as you know how you are grouping them, let the learners understand that once this one has done the work, the other one will critique or give what should be done. And in group work, they can collaborate quite easily. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much and welcome.
allow me to read what is in the chat section. Uh, there is Adelaide says, hi everyone, thanks for the session. And Benta says, I'm glad to be part of the meeting. So next time, uh, I think uh, as you continue, I'll be receiving the chats. Thank you so much for taking part. Uh, the next session will be practical from what you've already learned today. Thank you members for joining our meeting today and uh, feel most welcome. I would ask you again to have your videos on so that we take uh, a screenshot. As we say, bye. Okay, thank you, members. Uh, okay, thank, you, members. thank you. Thank you so much for the Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>